good how are you you look great i was wondering i was like is she gonna join with the braids what's she gonna do <laughs> because her hair changes all the time <laughs> going on she's constantly thinking it up but yeah I'm back to the curly hair how's it going you're in Ireland right now I am yes we got here about on these quarantines have been messing with my mind so I have no clue like what day it is ever um but I think we got here on Wednesday or Tuesday so we've been here for a couple of days we have to do like a five-day quarantine so um, I think we have two more, two, two, a day or two left, and then we'll be able to actually start rehearsals and, and start all of that fun stuff. So I'm excited. We're going to do a little game. It's going to be current events. So it'll relate to your life and everything that you have going on. And then also just what you like and what you enjoy doing. So, mm -hmm. uh, I'll start. So it's current events. So obviously we know you kill it on TikTok <laughs> and <laughs> We talked to Julia Lester yesterday about like how you guys film them on set of High School Musical and everything. So do you feel like with current events, like TikTok has obviously taken over the world. Do you feel like you are like your buying habits have changed because of TikTok, your music taste? Oh, 100%. I think my music taste is definitely very influenced by TikTok because there are so many songs that go viral on there. Yeah. Um, but also, <laughs> I am I am a victim of being influenced shopping wise. Like I'll I'll see somebody whether it's like a makeup product or a clothing product, and I'm like, oh, they look so good. And I'll go to the comments and I'll see people asking like, where are the jeans from? And I'm like, oh yes, yes, yes. That I want to know. I want to know. And finally someone will have commented what where the jeans are from where the dress is from or whatever it is and um I'm always like getting that screenshot and going to that <laughs> website right after and people do that on yours a lot too because like you have good a uh, fashion sense and everything so that's thank you thank you I um yeah sometimes I sometimes I'll put stuff in if I see people commenting about anything I'll just I'll put it in there because I'm like, I don't want people to search because I'm the person who searches through the comments forever yep. to find. <laughs> okay, another current event. So season two of High School Musical, the musical is coming out in May. So mm -hmm. current event wise, how are you excited? How is filming being on set with everybody? I am so excited for season two to come out. I had heard about our release date, I think a couple days before it was announced. So I was shocked with the rest of the world as well. I was like, oh, it's so soon. Um, but it also feels like a long time coming. Um, I've right. been really excited to be season two as well as everyone else. Um, and, and filming it was so much fun. We've had a difficult year because of course everyone has had a difficult year with the pandemic and and a lot of people's jobs stopping completely same with ours so it was nice to be able to come back to work and oh, and yeah. have that excitement again and, and just I think everyone felt extra grateful to be where we are because so few are working during this time so it was a pleasure being back and being around everyone and being able to finish season two and have it come out to the world. How would you describe the like behind the scenes in like three words of filming High School Musical? Like what's the vibes like? Ooh, fun, um, challenging, and, and exciting. Every day I come to set and I'm excited. I'm always challenged with something new, whether it's a performance we're doing, a song, a dance, um, or just a a new storyline that I have to to work on to really uh, to help bring to life as much as I possibly can um and it's just so much fun like if <laughs> the directors hate us whenever we're in a big routine because we're just all so happy to be together and we forget like oh we're, we're at work right now like we're not just like friends hanging right. out like, but yeah, I think this is a job <laughs> a job but um, I think that's what brings a lot of like authenticity to the show is that we truly and thoroughly enjoy being around each other. And that really comes across on, on the screen. Totally. And you have a million and one projects going on. So what would you say is like, what would a dream project of yours be? Like whether it's like acting with someone or doing something like what would you, what would the perfect role be in your eyes? 
Yeah. Well, the crazy thing is I, every project I've ever done has always been, been my dream role in my dream project. So then after I do it, I'm like, okay, I need to figure out what my next dream role is. But I'm currently living out my dream role um, by being in the film that I'm currently about to film, which is School for Good and Evil. Yeah. It's the, the fairy tale aspect, the princess, the, 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 the world and everything about it is exactly what I've always wanted to either film or just something I enjoy reading and watching. So I'm so excited to to begin the filming process because this is so much fun for me. I've had a couple fittings and every time I try on a dress, I literally Heart look at me. You're like, yes, this is it. <laughs> I think I'm about to pass out and they're like no 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 your character is supposed to hate this you can't be so excited you can't be happy <laughs> about this <laughs> but it's, it's so exciting for me so I think I'm, I'm really living my dreams right now and I'm I'm definitely gonna um create new ones but as of right now I'm just focused on <laughs> on living out this dream currently <laughs> It's good. Well, you deserve it. You're killing it. We can't wait for High School Musical and this new one. So good luck, you know, finishing out quarantine. And thank you again for talking to us. Great. Thank you.